Hey, welcome back to the channel. So if there is one thing that kills any email copywriter or agency owner's dreams before they even begin, it's picking a niche. So there are 107 people currently in my email side hustle program. And this is the number one place that people get stuck is picking a niche. They don't want to pick the wrong niche. They only want to go into the best one. And they're always getting stuck on this stage before they even start because they just don't know what niche to pick or which one's the best one. This is also the most common question in my Facebook group, on my YouTube channel, in the comments, and also replies to my daily emails is what is the best niche to pick if I'm writing emails? So today I'm gonna to make it super easy for you. I'm gonna help you pick a niche in just, in literally just two seconds. And I'm gonna tell you the only two niches that you should be targeting if you're doing any kind of email related services. So if you've been stuck trying to pick a niche for days or weeks or months or even a year, I've, I've seen people st stuck on picking a niche for a year, I wanna help you fix that in this video. By the end of this video, you will have picked your niche if you're doing any kind of email service and you won't be stuck on this anymore. Now, if you like the content, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so that you see all of my future videos and you can also help me to show it to other people who can benefit from this content as well. So again, make sure to like and subscribe and let's dive into the video right now. So one of the major mistakes that I see people making, especially beginners who are picking a niche for the first time and offering a service for the first time, is they go way too narrow and way too specific on their first try. And this makes it nearly impossible for them to find clients because the amount of businesses that fit their criteria are just so tiny. So an example of this is they might say, my niche is female owned e-commerce stores in California who sell luxury watches to women over 50. Like you see how specific and narrow that is. There's probably not that many companies who fit that criteria, which is gonna make it hard for you to find people to reach out to and ultimately get clients. So my recommendation, especially if you're new to this and you're picking your, a niche for the first time, is to pick one of, these, one of these two broader categories that I'm about to share with you. Land your first few gigs by reaching out to people in one of these niches, right? You're gonna pick your niche in this video, one of these two that I'm about to share. Start reaching out to people in the niche and landing your first few paying gigs. Then of course, start getting results for people that you are working with and delivering services to and getting paid for. And then you can decide after getting experience and getting paid from working with clients and working on your first few gigs, then you can decide, I wanna go more specific into here, I wanna go more narrow into here and work with these specific types of companies. So again, in a nutshell, start with a more broader category. So you have more people to reach out to, more potential clients. And then as you work with those clients, you can start to narrow in the focus depending on the results you're getting and the criteria that you figure out you need to get the best results. And with all that said, let's jump into these niches right now. The two best email copywriting niches and the only two you should be focused on, especially if you're beginning. And by the end of this video, you should be picking one of these two niches here. So let's jump into these right now. So niche number one is e-commerce physical product companies. And I'm sure you can guess what this is. It's anyone who sells physical products online. So I would say from what I know and what I've seen, these types of companies are the most common for people who do an email copywriting or email marketing services. It's most common for them to work with e-commerce physical product companies. And so what are the pros of targeting this niche? Well, number one, they're easy to find. There are tons of these e-commerce stores and people who sell physical products online. If you don't believe me, just go to Amazon. All those companies are e-commerce physical product companies. They sell physical products and they're using an online store, online website to do that. Amazon.com. The second thing is there are a lot of simple and really awesome tools to help you, especially if you're doing email, to help you with serving this niche. So Klaviyo is a great example of a tool that is specifically for e-commerce email marketing and for sales tracking. So it's a very mature, solid tool specifically for this niche. And those are two of the biggest pros or advantages I would say about targeting e-commerce physical product companies is they're easy to find because there's so many of them and there's great tools that will help you to help these types of businesses. Now the main con or disadvantage of working with this niche is their profit margins are lower than the second niche I'm gonna share with you because they have extra expenses like cost of goods sold and inventory and shipping costs. So the way that this affects you is you might not be able to charge as premium of a price point because their profit margins are lower because of these extra expenses. But still overall, a very solid niche to target anyone who's selling physical products online these are a perfect niche to target for you if you're offering email copywriting, email marketing services. Now, niche number two is digital product companies. And I'm sure you can guess this one as well, right? Anyone selling digital products online. So some examples of digital products are things like info products, 
online courses, coaching, masterminds, master classes, workshops, any kind of tools, or even SaaS products. These are all examples of digital products. Now, the main advantage of targeting digital product companies is they have much higher profit margins because they don't have cost of goods sold or inventory or shipping costs. They create a digital product and they can duplicate it and resell it over and over and over again. And they don't have to pay all those extra expenses because it's a digital product. And what that means for you is you're able to charge more of a premium because they have more profits and they can afford to pay you more because they're not paying all those extra expenses for cost of goods and inventory and shipping and everything that comes with the physical product business. Now, the downside to targeting this niche, digital product companies is they are slightly harder to find than physical product companies from, at least from my experience, and the tools that they have available aren't as good or I don't like them as much as the physical product companies. So I haven't found anything that's like Clavio yet at the same price point where the sales tracking, the email sending, and all the tools that Clavio has, there isn't an equal in the info product or digital product space. So those were the main disadvantages for this niche is the companies are a little hard to find and the tools aren't as good from what I've seen as the physical product company tools. Now, personally for my niche at growthresponse.io, which is my services and consulting company, I target digital product companies in the e-learning space. And I'm targeting companies who are on the higher ticket range. So they sell products that are in the 1K to 50K per year range. And these are the main companies that I target. I like to focus on high ticket e-learning companies, digital product space. Now, here's the thing. I didn't just start there, right? I didn't go straight to e-learning companies in the digital product space who are selling offers over 1K. That's pretty specific. I started off just selling to any digital product companies, my email copywriting services. And as I started to work with SaaS companies and info product companies and coaches and consultants, I figured out the sweet spot of where I wanted to continue working. And then I started to narrow in and create more specific criteria of who I wanted to work with as a client. So now that you know the two best email copywriting or email marketing niches, which is number one, e-commerce physical product companies, and number two is digital product companies, here is how you pick a niche in two seconds. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to find a coin. I want you to assign a niche to each side, right? So heads, it could be digital product companies and tails, it could be physical product companies. And then I want you to flip that coin and whatever it lands on, if you're undecided, right? If you don't know how to pick your niche or you don't know what you wanna go with, flip the coin and whatever it lands on, that's your niche, that's what you're picking. So that's how you pick a niche in two seconds, right? Put digital product or a physical product on heads or tails, you're gonna flip the coin, whatever it lands on, that's what you're gonna to stick to for the next 90 days. So there you go, boom. You just picked your niche in two seconds by flipping a coin, and now you don't have to worry about getting stuck on picking a niche for days or weeks or months or even a year. Now you have it, and if you actually go through and flip a coin, you'll have your niche picked, and now you can go out and start reaching out to potential clients. So to wrap this up, those were the two best email marketing or email copywriting niches that you should target, especially if you're a beginner. Number one is physical product e-commerce companies. Number two is digital product companies. And if you don't know which one to go with, if you're stuck deciding on one versus the other, I want you to grab a coin, I want you to flip that coin and whatever it lands on, whatever you assign those two niches to, whatever it lands on, you're gonna go with that for the next 90 days. Also remember not to make the mistake of going too specific or too narrow on your first try. Keep it a little more broad. Pick one of these two that I gave you here and narrow it in and create more specific criteria once you get more experience. The main thing I want for you is to get that experience and to start making money, and that's gonna help you make better and better decisions. It's not, gonna be, it's not gonna come from sitting around and trying to think of what is the best niche gonna be, what kind of specific criteria can I create to stand out. It comes from going and reaching out to people and just picking something and starting. So this video, watch it again. If you're stuck on a niche, flip a coin, and this video is gonna help you. Now, if you wanna learn the skill of writing emails that sell, email copywriting and email marketing, so that once you pick a niche, clients wanna hire you, go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group and my email list where I share a ton more content around that. And that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.